Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, me and my daddy are going to... What? Come on now. <laughs> if you make me keep recording this in. Okay, no. Y'all, we're going to be um, making his famous gumbo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Creole gumbo. My great-grandmother's, your great-great-grandmother's recipe handed down generation to generation. We still making it with the same style rule. I didn't even know that. Yeah, now you know. Wow, this is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be my first time. Exactly. All right, y'all, for the first step, we're <laughs> boiling some water. So we got our... Yeah, we using spring water, my daddy said. Make sure yeah, I tell y'all that. Don't put no faucet water in your gumbo. <laughs> so that's about how much water I put. Y'all, and here is the roux that my daddy made well, that's last it. night. No, I've been made it. That's um, excellent. Pot. So, tell them what's in there. Flour. Or is it a secret? No, it's flour. No, they, you can't. And grease. Oh, okay. And you, oh, that's it? Okay. Yeah, you put flour and grease in, you, and you keep stirring it. Uh, and, you know, it'll turn tan. You know, first it'll turn beige and tan, and it'll get brown. You know, you, the longer you cook it, the darker it get. The darker it is, the richer the taste. Right. But the more it take to thicken it, the gumbo, this is the thickener. Mm -hmm. So like if we was cooking etouffee or something like crawfish etouffee, shrimp etouffee, Ooh, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't make root as dark. We just might like make it tan or brown or something, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't, you wouldn't use as much. But this one we're gonna use a fair amount. But this is just okay. the leftovers from the pot. I got a whole. This is my jar. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Packed it myself. And see, it then got some greased and form on the top. We're gonna pull that out. Cause you really just want that browned flour is what it is. Y'all, in the gumbo, we're going to be using shrimp, chicken, sausage, Louisiana sausage. Rabbit doughs. And um, we're going to put eggs in it. So now we're going to season the water. First, we're going to hit it with some sea salt, some iodized sea salt, because we need that iodine and sea salt better than table salt. Table salt is not good for you. We'll salt our water, you know what I'm saying? Not a little up. light in the background. Huh? <laughs> the light. What? You want to start off? gonna know, Daddy. I was just laughing. Hit it with some cayenne pepper. Love me some cayenne. I black pepper I just bought. It's over there. Yeah. Some good coarse ground black pepper. <laughs> Taste of black pepper. Just turn turn stuff out. Mmm. Smell that. You smell it? Mmm. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's go. So I'm putting the whole thing of onion powder in here. I'm using my left hand, so it looks weird. All right, y'all. So we're using garlic powder and some of the stuff. All right. Y'all, this is one onion right now. We'll be using two. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, y'all, so this is the second onion. y'all we using the chicken how you say it here bouillon cube bouillon, bouillon cubes i dropped them in there okay y'all so this is my daddy's homemade roux i put five heaping 
tablespoons of that. All right, y'all, so I just cut up two chicken breasts. Now we're about to brown the chicken. All right, y'all, so we cooked the gumbo for about four hours, and I decided to add a little bit more cayenne pepper for the spice and then some t more tonies. So this is how it looks. Show them yours. Yeah, boy. It's so good. I mm. haven't even tasted it yet. All right, we're going to try it. I want to get a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'm trying to chicken. do the same thing, too. Some chicken, some sausage. Some and the shrimp, y'all put the shrimp in there. Put your bowl up. No. What? Fine. Put your bowl up when we take a bite. Wait. Ah, this is too hot. <laughs> mm. Oh, you're crazy. This is way too hot. <laughs> Shrimp at? No, under all my juice. Ah. Yeah. I've been eating hot gumbo for decades. Mmm. <laughs> mm, that good egg. I'm so good. Mmm. Mm. The celery. Yeah. So you know how to cook gumbo now? Yep. So I'm gonna be like, babe, cook some gumbo. You know what to do? You don't remember? <laughs> I forgot what you said um, to put in the roux, though. Like how to make the roux. You said flour. Well, you. Roux, that's a whole nother video. You can make yeah. a video off making roux. Yeah, y'all let them know if y'all want to see a video about how to make roux. Because most people buy it in the store. Most people don't make roux. <clears throat> roux is what really makes the gumbo, right? Yeah, that's what makes a gumbo. You can't have a gumbo without roux. Ooh, this is really good. Uh, you don't want to go do a mukbang now? Y'all think this is this mm -hmm. the video? Y'all let them know if y'all want to see us mukbang the rest of these plates. <laughs> they do. <laughs> we'll do that in another video. I'm going to sit down and finish eating my bowl. All right, me too. But I don't <laughs> want to do a mukbang right now. What? So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe.